Hey guys, how's it going? It's Parker coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the $350 Apogee Hype Mic versus the $1000 Antelope Edge Go. Let's see which is best. But first, let's take a look back at both. The Apogee Hype Mic provides professional sound quality and provides studio grade analog compression. It records at up to 24 bits and 96 kilohertz resolution. The Hype Mic provides for zero latency monitoring of what you're taking in and also lets you blend what you're taking in to suit your needs. Singing on the Hype Mic is great as well. It provides three levels of analog compression and you can turn it off. It provides you a truly balanced and mixed recording, reducing the need for extensive processing and takes. It lets you capture your perfect take easier and faster. Recording instruments with your Apogee Hype Mic brings a whole new level of smoothness and warmth. Being able to vary your compression levels allows you to capture the fullest tone of your instruments without compromising anything. Built for higher SPO levels, up to 130 decibels, the Hype Mic provides cl greater clarity and detail when recording loud acoustics from drums to horns to choirs to anything else you want. From podcast to voiceovers to interviews to YouTube performances to live streaming to conference calls to anything you want, the Apogee Hype Mic has your back. Use the Apogee Hype Mic as a new part of your workflow. Record a sound, add compression, and play it back as something different. The interface of the Hype Mic is very easy to understand. There are three indicator lights that let you know your level of compression, gain, or uh, blend. You can also change the blend by pressing the button, change the compression by pressing the button, or adjust your mic gain by sliding the dial. It is literally just that easy. Changing the compression level with the press of a button. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack allows you to listen in real time to what you're recording, and the micro USB cable allows you to connect to iOS, Mac, or PC. The Apogee Hype Mic comes with everything you need to connect to iOS, PC, or Mac, comes with a premium tripod, a great pop filter, and a premium carrying case. Now let's look at the $1,000 or $1,600 Antelope Edge Go. Very pricey. But what do you get? We'll find out. The Antelope Edge Go touts itself as the world's first smart USB microphone. Let's find out why that is. For the thousand dollars, you're not just getting a microphone, but a lot of premium features as well. While the Apogee Hype Mic uses micro USB, the Antelope Edge Go uses the upgraded USB Type C and is compatible with USB Type A, but does not work with iOS devices at all. The Antelope Edge Go touts itself as a compact studio in a microphone. It combines software, hardware, and premium features to give you all this in one package. With our zero latency monitoring via the headphone jack, you can live stream and hear in real time what you're putting out. The Antelope Edge Go is great for recording vocals as well. Use some of the included effects to make yourself sound like your favorite podcaster. If you vlog, use some of our effects to make your audio sound top notch. Use emulations to explore your unique vocal tonalities. Maximize your efficiency by using the intuitive control panel available to you. Adjusting the settings is very simple and straightforward and can be mastered by reading the documentation only. The Antelope Edge Go is almost like having 12 microphones in one. The Antelope Edge Go is like having a full studio setup in one easy to carry package. The Antelope Edge Go comes with all the cables you need to get set up and recording today, comes with a premium bass stand, comes with a premium shock mount, and a premium pop filter. It also comes with a very, very high end carrying case. It looks nice indeed. Now let's compare the Apogee Hype Mic to the Antelope Edge Go. They are both USB devices but offer different purposes as well. The Antelope Edge Go cannot work with iOS devices, while the Apogee Hype Mic can. 
So that's a big distinguisher in itself. Both devices require Windows 10 with at least 4 gigs of RAM, but where they differ is in the Mac OS requirements. The Apogee Hype Bike requires Mac OS 10.9 or later, whereas the Antelope Edge Go requires Mac OS 10.11 El Capitan or later. One of the biggest increases in quality is on the Antelope Edge Go. It records all the way up to 192 kilohertz with 117 decibels of dynamic range, more double what the Apogee Hype Mic gives you. The Apogee Hype Mic allows for a max SPL at up to 130 decibels, while the Antelope Edge Go only allows for 116. A real big change is that the Antelope Edge Go only works on PC or Mac, whereas the Apogee Hype Mic can be also used with the iOS devices, making it much more portable and flexible in its functionality. Comparing size, the Apogee Hype Mic comes in at a length of 4.88 inches long and a depth and width of 1.5 inches, and the weight is 0.45 pounds. When we look at the Antelope Edge Go, the size is a length of 8.66 inches long, a width and depth of 2.1 inches long, and a weight of 1.21 pounds, more than double. It's substantial, but is it worth it? Another reason that the Antelope Edge Go costs so much more is the included software and included FPGA enhancements that are included in the mic itself. But are those worth $650 or more? Depending on when you buy it, it could be up to $1,600 as the price point. So I'm not sure if it's worth it. To me, I would much rather buy my Apogee Hype mic and buy Final Cut Pro X and do post-processing and, like I did, buy a couple apps on my iPhone that allow me to use virtual mic emulation and other things like that as well. I think that's a much better way than spending $1,000 on a mic kit that lets you do these things but may not be as good as what you can get otherwise. So that's something you have to take into consideration. So to wrap it up, in comparison of the Antelope Edge Go and the Apogee Hype Mic, I'd have to say that I do not believe the Edge Go is worth more than $650 over the Hype Mic. Since you can save the money, spend it on Final Cut Pro, other enhancements and features and things you can use to enhance your studio. And I'm just not sure if the Edge Go is worth that much money. Yes, it gives you double the quality of recording, but is that worth it in itself? I don't believe so. Plus, the Apogee Hype Mic has been optimized to work with Mac devices such as GarageBand or Core Audio related devices. So it is a very cool thing, very functional, and not nearly as much, but still a hefty price tag at $350, but totally worth it to enhance your workflow. Okay guys, so that's my comparison of the Apogee Hype Mic versus the Antelope Edge Go. The Edge Go is a definite upgrade, but is it worth a $650 upgrade? Yes, you get the software, the FX, the emulations, and the other enhancements, but I think I'd rather go out and buy Final Cut Pro and get some enhancements and the emulations on my iPhone like I did and save the money. So for me, the Apogee Hype Mic is the clear winner. But it might be different for you. Let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Have a good one.